Hello there, everybody. Ma Terry here, along with our fabulous co-star, Miss Lucy, who's down for another nap today. Aren't you, Miss Lucy? All right. Welcome to my winter camping series. This is the third um, a video that I'm doing. Uh, the first one was uh, things I hate about the Mr. Buddy heater and stuff like that. The second video I did was how to create a fort in your van, or as I like to call it, a sleeping chamber to where uh, for me, it's always 60 degrees. It can be 30 degrees outside and Miss Lucy and I are as snug as as a bug in a rug. So if you didn't see those two videos, I hope you do. Um, they're really, really good. I love winter camping. I would rather be winter camping. I don't like summer camping. I don't like humidity. I don't like heat. I love it when it's cold. Anyhow, today there are nice little things that you can do for yourself. Like let's say it gets a little chilly in your van. You know, uh, the temperature really dips, the wind's howling outside and you get a little chill. What can you do? All right, so I'm gonna list about 13, 14 things. Uh, we'll know by the time we're done how many things I have. So I'm going to say, all right, we will start with number one. All right, you can have a water bottle, heat up the water, put it in a water uh, bottle and put it at the uh, foot of your uh, sleeping bag. Now, some people, uh, you know, they have the electronic little hand warmers and then they have the other hand warmers and everything. Uh, if you read on the uh, instructions, you're not really supposed to do that. Uh, do it so at your own risk. So that's, that's a good idea. You know, it's just how to take the edge off. Um, number two, uh, different weights of gloves. All right. Wait a minute, let me see. Do I have the picture? Do I have the picture? All right. Different weights of gloves. Why would you need different weights of gloves? Let's say I'm sleeping back here and it's, I'm snug as a bug in a rug and 60 degrees and I make one some uh, gloves for my hand. And then in the morning, first thing I do is I jump up into the cab and I want to drive off. Okay. It's 30 degrees up here. It's 35 degrees. So I need my thick gloves. I need a thicker sweater up there to be able to jump up into that cab to, uh, so I can drive off. Yeah, there's going to be two distinct temperatures between the sleeping temp, uh, sleeping chamber and the front of the cab. So that's number two. Did we go over different weights of uh, hats? I think we're up to number three. Um, like this is a nice little lightweight hat, you know, but jumping into the front of the cab, once again, you want a really nice thick hat. Uh, I also have a wool hat. This was given to me by one of uh, my viewers. I can't remember the name right now, but I thank you. This is the neatest little gift I ever got. This is a music hat and it uh, goes Bluetooth uh, to my cell phone so I can listen to uh, my music. And at the same time, if I'm taking Miss Lucy out for a walk at night, it's a nice little headlamp. So it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. I really love it. All right. Are we up to number four? Oh, I also love different weights of socks. Uh, again, uh, you know, it all depends on how cold it is outside. So I normally carry three different weights of socks from really, really, really heavy wool or slippers if you have them. I don't uh, have a place for slippers, but I have really, really thick socks. All right, the next one. All right, this is a how-to. Uh, you know, the first year, you know, all of a sudden my windows froze and I mean, I've actually wake, woken up to have an ice on my windshield. So how to, uh, learn how to quickly and easily defrost your windshield. That's a big thing. Uh, cause you know, you can't make a quick getaway if you know, you're snowed in. All right. And then also what I have up front in my, the front cab, uh, for condensation, I have a little itty bitty squeegee. So I squeegee across and also I have a kitchen towel so I can dry my uh, front windshield and my side windows, uh, get all that condensation off. All right. Now then, uh, the flooring makes all the difference in my van. I went to Walmart and got those really thick cushion uh, kitchen stand mats, and that's what's all in the back where my uh, sleeping chamber is, those nice little thick uh, step mats. And uh, also I have a lot of carpet in back there. You know, just, uh, you know, your little welcome mats and everything. It ain't too pretty, but it serves its purpose. All right, next, sometimes it may dip below, it may get a little colder, and uh, you know, I like to, uh, I don't leave anything on overnight, no. But I have a little crackle candle, so it goes crackle, 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 and it's just a nice little candle. I leave it on for five minutes, and it takes the chill right off. All right, that's one of the things I do. 
All right. So, uh, also 90% of my windows all also have that really thick insulation in, which I talked about, uh, in, uh, the second one, how to build a fort, uh, a little sleeping chamber. So having your in windows well insulated is well worth it. All right. All right, and here's the biggest trick. When I'm asleep, I want to stay asleep. You know, in the desert, it's going to go 50, 40, 30, maybe into the 20s. I don't want to wake up. What I have is I have an air mattress, and it's a mummy shape. Let me show you the picture of it. There's my little mummy shape. And what I do during the winter, I have two sleeping bags. I have my summer sleeping bag, which is small, and then I have my winter, I think it's a zero degree sleeping bag. So... I get my mummy air mattress and then I put my summer sleeping bag on. So I have a layer on the bottom and it wraps all the way around. And then in this combination of the sleeping bag and the first, uh, the sleeping mat and the first sleeping bag, then I get my giant, uh, oh my God, sleeping bag, my winter one, and I stuff it in there. So it's like, I'm like three levels deep. I have the, uh, winter one, I have the summer one, and then I have my air mattress that I sleep on. You know, I double zip me up. I stay really, really warm. Uh, why do I do this? Because some places I go to, it's going to dip down at 20 at night. I really don't have the best insulation. I really don't want the best insulation. What I have works for me. I love snuggling. You know, it's like I love snuggling up in blankets and everything, and it really, really works. Anyhow, uh, if you guys have any ideas what you use to stay warm, please add it to the comments below. Adding uh, to the comments only helps the rest of the community. I want everyone to stay warm this winter, don't I? And yes, Miss Lucy has her own little sleeping pajamas, her own little sleeping hat. She looks really cute. All right, we'll see you down the road.